I've got just over half an hour to uh, try and model this. So I just want to show you how fast this technique really can be. I got an image here from the internet. It's not perfectly uh, centered and it's not perfectly straight on. So we're going to take some liberties here and I'm going to create a lamp. I'm not necessarily going to create this lamp, but it's going to look something like that. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to add a plane, rotate it 90 degrees. Go into edit mode and collapse all those vertices to the center. I'm going to pull this up and I'm going to work on the wood part here. And I'll do, I'm going to do this as a few separate pieces here. Get rid of that. And I'm going to hit E to extrude, G to go. And I'm going to come out. And I'm just going to keep doing E and G and trace the profile. And once again, this is not necessarily going to look exactly like this lamp it's just going to look like some kind of lamp hopefully it's going to look kind of cool and we'll be able to do this nice and quick around the outside I'm not worried about how many points I'm using I'm just uh, doing my thing having some fun and working quickly now I'm going to come back and I'm going to go right to the x-axis right now so that might seem a little weird but it's strange if I follow the entire outside there so okay I'm going to select the first and last point hit end to open this panel and I'm going to put zero in for the x there's the profile of the wooden part. Add modifier, screw modifier, switch it to the z-axis, and add subdivision surface of two. And that's going to be that part. I'm going to go ahead and apply the screw modifier, and I'm going to hide that piece. Okay, so that's that. Now I'm going to work on the base, but in order to do that, I'm actually going to move the, the image over just a little bit. get it roughly centered that's good enough shift a to add a plane rotate 90 degrees in the X okay I'll go ahead edit mode alt M center and bring this one vertex down to maybe around there and hit the E G X and bring it out start now I'm going to round this in just as I did before press N open the panel make sure they're all zeroed first and last point anyhow and add the screw modifier and the y-axis and a subdivision surface of two and I just want to have a look at this I'll probably get this a little bit uh, sharper later but I'm happy with that and so if I was to unhide that other piece we can see that I'll have to move these a little bit and that's uh, going to be fine do that yeah. let's put it there for now okay um, I'm going to work on this part here but I'm going to center the background image just a little bit more again For this part, I'm going to um, 
Well, you know what? I've never used the screw modifier on this part, so let's go ahead and do that just to be quicker than using a cylinder. Oh, sorry. I'm going to edit mode. Oh, geez. Alt M. Bring this point. Where did it go? Oh, yeah. I should be hiding those other things. Doesn't matter. All right, so uh, I'll work from the bottom. No, I'm going to work from up here. Okay, I'm going to assume that the rest of the part is underneath there, which obviously it is. E, G, X. I'll come out to about there. E, G, Z. I'm going to come down to there. Normally, I would use the cylinder for this metal part, but uh, I want to do this quick. So let's see if I can uh, do this. I'm taking some liberties on the shape. This is actually quite a bit faster than using a cylinder. No, that's not what I want to be doing. I'll bring this in and bring that point in. Oh well. That's good enough. Not sure why I did that. Back to back to the zero position. I'll give that a try and see how how well that works out. Because that was faster than if I used cylinders. So for this piece now, what I would do is I would go in here, and I think I would uh, delete that vertex. I might even delete that one too. Yeah, I think I would. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. I gotta go into object mode, apply that. And um, there's really no need to do anything more with this, uh, other than maybe to come in and uh, add some edge loops to sharpen, sharpen it up. I'm not going to fill in that upper part. Maybe sharpen this a little bit more. Let's get it to it. See, it's a small detail, so it's not going to be overly noticeable anyhow. Put that there. So we got that so far. And now I'm going to hide all of this stuff. And I'll just quickly uh, do the uh, do the lamp shade. Same routine. Him, merge the points start about there and I'm gonna go EG X every time hey eh? every time uh, I'm gonna come out straight actually and then I'm gonna come down and I'll come in a little bit to make that uh, uh, sort of a, a bit of a, a bit of a notch Again, I'm not making this exact lamp. I'm just making um, a lamp roughly basing it off of this one. And now I will come out and down. And come back in, round it a bit, and back to zero on the X. Grab both those points and zero them out. Deselect them, object mode. Screw modifier, subdivision surface, and come back in and I will delete that vertex so it's open at the top. I'll delete this one. And that's enough to delete. I'll um, apply the screw modifier and I will add a solidify, bring it above the subsurf, 
and increase the thickness just a little bit. And um, I'll add one more edge loop there. Actually, I don't know if I need that one. Instead, I'll add one here and here see if that's good enough for me and yes it is apply the solidifier modifier and bring everything back and I already have my lamp now I have some other items on another layer so I'll move those to the first layer and I'll choose all the pieces of my lamp and scale it down some bring it up so it's sitting on this platform I'll get rid of the background image you don't have to see that let's go to the camera view okay lamp is a little bit well I can probably make this a bit smaller I guess and grab the lamp again Okay, something like that. Um, I'm not sure if those lights are positioned right. That was from a previous model. Um, what we'll do now, though, is we'll add some sort of basic materials. I'm not necessarily saying that this is overly uh, real, going to be overly realistic. Let's uh, start to have a look at what that looks like. And that's basically basically what it is. Um, I, I want to do something with this bottom part here. Let's hide that. Let's go in here. Yeah, and I think I said I was going to do something with that earlier. Uh, and just for the moment, Let's see, if I, let's see if I can bring uh, both of these down and just sharpen that edge. And maybe I'll bring this one down a little bit more too. Again, it's not the, the particular lamp uh, in, the, in the image. It's just a lamp that I thought was uh, pretty cool. There we go, that looks better. Okay, 22,000. All right, it's, maybe it's a lot, uh, but I don't care. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll, I'll uh, render that. And uh, we'll come back and have a look at it and we'll see, uh, see how she turned out. Yeah, it's looking, uh, looking pretty nice. This is, you know, basic uh, materials. There's nothing very special about them at all. Um, they're just diffuse and glossy. There's no, there's no real texture to it or no noise or anything like that. Uh, but just to show how, how quick and powerful this technique is for, for modeling. I mean, all of this stuff in, in just a few minutes, mind you, there is a, a lot of polys. I'm not careful at all about that. I suppose you could be, but I mean, if all you want is a, a prop in a, in a static scene, um, this is a nice way to do it and it's a lot of fun and I find it easier than, than uh, using cylinders. Of course that other stuff I modeled in there uh, for the first time using the screw modifier instead of cylinder is not even showing except for this piece. But uh, that doesn't really matter. So anyways this is about the fourth lamp that I've uh, modeled uh, using the same technique. Uh, making videos for that I just, I just really enjoy it and it's, uh, it's fun to do. And uh, the you know the final the final product looks looks really nice. And there it is. That's my final image for the lamp. So thank you very much for watching.